For years, it's been the whispered legend of the skies, the aircraft that promises to redefine air travel but has never quite taken off. A phantom jet, designed to fill a crucial gap in the market, often referred to by a number that doesn't officially exist. Yet, we're talking about the Boeing 797, the popular, speculative name for what Boeing officially refers to as the new midsize airplane, the NMA. This isn't just about a new plane, it's about Boeing's strategic future, its fierce competition with Airbus, and the evolving demands of global aviation. After years of speculation, delays, and a few tantalizing hints, is the NMA, the rumored 797, finally moving from the drawing board to the factory floor? In this video, we're cutting through the noise. We'll dive deep into the latest developments from mid-2025, explore why this aircraft is so desperately needed, and uncover the real status of Boeing's most anticipated next-generation jet. Is the 797, as we call it, finally becoming a reality? Let's find out. So why is this new mid-size airplane, this rumored 797, so crucial for Boeing and for the aviation industry as a whole? It all comes down to what's known as the middle of the market gap. Think of it like this. On one end, you have the workhorse narrow-body jets like Boeing's own 737 MAX or Airbus's A320 family. These are fantastic for shorter, high-frequency routes. On the other end, you have the large, long-range, wide-body aircraft, such as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner or the Airbus A330, designed for transcontinental and intercontinental flights, carrying hundreds of passengers. But what about the routes that don't quite fit? The long and thin routes, or those demanding more capacity and comfort than a narrow body, but not enough to justify a massive wide body. For decades, this sweet spot was perfectly served by aircraft like the beloved Boeing 757 and 767. These jets were incredibly versatile, capable of flying across oceans or handling busy domestic routes. However, they're aging out of fleets, and their production lines have long since closed. And while Boeing has been deliberating, Airbus hasn't been waiting around. Their A321XLR has aggressively stepped into this void, offering airlines a highly capable, long-range narrowbody that can fly routes previously reserved for much larger, less efficient aircraft. This has given Airbus a significant competitive edge in a lucrative market segment. This is precisely where the NMA, the aircraft we're calling the 797, is designed to shine. If it comes to fruition, it promises a game-changing combination of benefits, optimized for specific routes, it would be perfectly suited for those transcontinental or thin long-haul routes connecting cities that don't have enough demand for a large wide body. Superior economics. Imagine the efficiency of a narrow body, but with the range and capabilities closer to a wide body. The NMA aims for significantly lower operating costs than the wide bodies it would replace, generating more revenue per flight. Enhanced passenger comfort. Unlike cramped narrow bodies on longer flights, the NMA is expected to offer a more spacious cabin, potentially with a twin aisle configuration, providing a much needed boost in passenger experience. Unmatched flexibility. For airlines, this means the ability to open new, previously unprofitable routes, adapt quickly to changing demand, and optimize their fleets like never before. The need is clear, the market is there, and the competition is fierce. But despite these compelling reasons, the path to the 797 has been anything but smooth. The idea for a new mid-size airplane isn't new. Boeing's studies into this middle-of-the-market segment actually began as early as 2015. Initial concepts for the NMA, which the media quickly dubbed the 797, envision a highly efficient aircraft with two variants, seating between 225 and 275 passengers, and boasting impressive range capabilities. Boeing was in active discussions with over 50 potential customers, and there was a real sense of momentum, with some even anticipating a formal launch around 2019 and entry into service by 2025. However, the journey for the NMA has been fraught with significant roadblocks. The most impactful without a doubt was the 737 MAX crisis that began in late 2018 and led to a global grounding in 2019. This catastrophic event forced Boeing to divert immense resources, both financial and engineering, towards resolving the MAX issues and regaining regulatory and public trust. The focus shifted entirely to safety and quality, pushing all other new development projects onto the back burner. Adding to the strain were persistent delays with the 777X program, Boeing's next-generation wide body. Originally expected to enter service in 2020, 
The 777X has faced numerous certification hurdles and technical challenges, pushing its first delivery to launch customer Lufthansa to at least 2026. These ongoing issues further stretch Boeing's engineering and financial resources, leaving little capacity for an entirely new clean sheet design like the NMA. Then there's the sheer financial strain. Developing a new clean sheet aircraft is an incredibly expensive undertaking, with estimates ranging from $15 billion to a staggering $50 billion. With Boeing grappling with the financial fallout from the MAX crisis, ongoing production challenges, and a massive order backlog for existing aircraft, committing to such a colossal investment has been a significant hurdle. Furthermore, Boeing has consistently stated that it won't proceed with a new aircraft until next-generation engine technology is mature. These advanced engines promise significant fuel efficiency gains, but they are still under development by manufacturers like GE and Pratt and & Whitney, and are not expected to be ready for commercial service until the mid-2030s. Boeing's strategy is to avoid launching a new airframe with outdated propulsion. So, despite the compelling market need and earlier optimism, the NMA, or 797, has remained in a state of limbo. Boeing's consistent message has been that the project is on hold, not cancelled. It's a strategic pause, driven by a series of unprecedented challenges and a commitment to prioritize the stability and quality of its current programs. The question is, how long can this pause last before the market moves on entirely? Fast forward to mid-2025, and there's a renewed buzz around the NMA. The most significant development came in September 2024 during Boeing's intense labor negotiations. In a pivotal moment, Boeing announced that its team in the Puget Sound region of Washington State would build Boeing's next new airplane. This wasn't an explicit mention of the NMA or the 797, but for many, it was the strongest signal yet that the company was indeed planning its next clean sheet aircraft. This statement was crucial not just for future product development, but also in the context of union negotiations, offering job security, and a long-term vision for the workforce. Adding to this cautious optimism are Boeing's latest Q2 2025 financial results, released in July. The company reported smaller losses and, importantly, generated positive operating cash flow, a significant improvement. However, it's crucial to note that net cash flow remains negative. CEO Kelly Ortberg has consistently emphasized Boeing's unwavering focus on restoring trust and making continued progress on our recovery. I don't know if it's uh, too soon to say. I, I would say we're turning the corner, and I see very, very positive signs. Uh, we've done a lot of work on the culture. Uh, the teams are rallying around that work. I am seeing a different Boeing showing up in the marketplace. I'm hearing that from our customers, but we got a lot of work yet to do. We're going to continue to focus on that, and I think we're seeing the early signs of that turnaround, uh, and that, hopefully that will help us through next year uh, as we continue to improve the culture. This means stabilizing operations and delivering higher quality aircraft. This focus on stability is critical because a quick status check on Boeing's current major programs reveals ongoing challenges. The 737 MAX 7 and MAX 10 variants have seen their certification pushed back to 2026, primarily due to persistent issues with the engine anti-ice system. Similarly, the 777X, Boeing's next generation wide body, continues to face delays, with its entry into service now expected no earlier than 2026 for launch customer Lufthansa, despite ongoing test flights. The implication here is clear. While the next new airplane announcement generated excitement, Boeing's immediate priority remains resolving these critical issues with its existing and soon-to-be certified aircraft. These challenges demand significant resources and management attention, meaning that the NMA, or 797, while still a long-term aspiration, continues to take a back seat to these more pressing concerns. So, with all this talk of next new airplanes and the persistent 797 chatter, what does it truly mean? It's vital to understand the nuance here. Boeing's statement about building its next new airplane in Puget Sound is a strong indicator that a clean sheet design is indeed on their long-term roadmap. It's a strategic commitment to their workforce and future. However, it is not an official launch or confirmation of the new mid-size airplane, nor does it officially designate it as the 797. That number remains a popular, but unofficial, nickname. Boeing is undoubtedly planning for it, but the timeline remains highly fluid and dependent on multiple factors. The company is exercising considerable caution, and for good reason. Years of intense regulatory scrutiny from the FAA, 
especially in the wake of the 737 MAX incidents, mean that any new aircraft program will face unprecedented levels of oversight. There's zero room for error or rush timelines. Furthermore, the ongoing fragility of the global supply chain and the lessons learned from past ambitious timelines, particularly with the 737 MAX and 777X, weigh heavily on Boeing's decision-making. They've experienced firsthand the costly consequences of pushing too fast. The emphasis now is on stability, quality, and a methodical approach, even if it means a slower pace. This cautious approach is reflected in analyst projections. While the industry recognizes the need for an NMA, most experts still forecast that any clean-sheet aircraft from Boeing won't enter service until the mid-2030s. This timeline aligns with the maturation of next-generation engine technologies that Boeing insists are necessary for a truly competitive and efficient new aircraft. It's a long game, and Boeing appears committed to getting it right, rather than getting it fast. So what would this elusive new mid-size airplane, the 797, actually look like, and what kind of impact would it have if Boeing finally brings it to fruition? Based on Boeing's earlier studies and industry speculation, we can piece together some of its likely characteristics. Seating capacity and range. The NMA is envisioned to carry anywhere from 220 to 295 passengers, with a range of 4,000 to 5,000 nautical miles. This would perfectly position it for those crucial transcontinental and thin long-haul routes. Possible twin aisle design. While some early concepts explored a large single aisle, the prevailing thought leans towards a twin aisle design, similar to a smaller 787. This would offer enhanced passenger comfort, quicker boarding and deplaning, and a distinct advantage over stretched narrow bodies. Fuel efficiency and digital integration. A core tenet of the NMA would be cutting-edge fuel efficiency, driven by those next-generation engines Boeing is waiting for and extensive use of lightweight composite materials. It would also be deeply integrated with digital technologies, from design and manufacturing to predictive maintenance and optimized flight operations. For Boeing, a successful NMA would mean re-entering and potentially dominating a critical market segment that Airbus has been capitalizing on. It would offer a powerful opportunity to rebuild its reputation with a clean sheet success, demonstrating its renewed commitment to innovation and quality after a challenging period. This would solidify its long-term competitive edge against Airbus, allowing it to offer a comprehensive product lineup across all market segments. The impact on the broader industry would be significant. We could see a proliferation of new, direct routes that are currently uneconomical for larger aircraft, connecting more city pairs and offering greater convenience for travelers. This would undoubtedly lead to increased competition among airlines, potentially benefiting consumers with more choices and competitive fares. The NMA isn't just a plane, it's a potential catalyst for the next era of global air travel. So, to bring it all together, the Boeing 797, or more accurately, the new mid-size airplane concept, remains a tantalizing prospect. While recent hints, particularly from a September 2024 labor contract, suggest a strong progression, its official launch and definitive timeline are still unconfirmed. Its future depends heavily on Boeing's continued recovery from the challenges of the 737 MAX crisis and the ongoing delays with the 777X, as well as the maturation of next-generation engine technology. While the 797 isn't officially here, yet the pieces are indeed slowly moving into place. Boeing recognizes the critical market need and the long-term strategic imperative of this aircraft. It's a patient game, focused on getting it right. What do you think? Will we finally see the Boeing 797 take to the skies by the 2030s, or will it remain an aviation legend forever on the drawing board? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you are as excited about the future of aviation as we are, please like this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth aviation news and analysis.